I am home. This is my second to last day student teaching. Today I eliminated my concealer, changed nothing, my eye is still messed up. So I'm thinking it's the foundation that I changed to because it wasn't doing this before. Um, but around the time I changed my foundation, I also changed my mascara. Um, so tomorrow, after work, I'm gonna head to Ulta and replace my old mascaras that I used to use that I was just trying to cheap out because the ones I have now are drugstore. Um, and buy the ones that I've been using. Uh, and then um, also buy, I was using a tinted moisturizer and I've been using like a glowy elf foundation. Sucks. But it is what it is. I honestly don't wear a ton of makeup and honestly, when I buy this makeup, it will, stop it! It'll hold me through um, to the new school year because I do not wear a ton of makeup in the summer. Uh, I stopped at Kroger on the way because we have a custodian that's retiring. So she always borrows snacks from our classroom. So we bought a ton of snacks. So I all got together and put some money together. So I went ahead and picked it up since I was out of work early. Grabbed a bag for Trevor. I'm so mad at Trevor. Today was like a super important uh, senior meeting. I didn't go to school. And then gets mad at me whenever I say something about it. I found these. I saw someone do a really cute TikTok on like putting some pixie dust in them whenever you want to cruise. So I grabbed them and then I grabbed batteries for my classroom. Um, it's kind of a mess down here, but I still want to get that landing carpet cleaned real quick. So I'm going to go pee, do the, the landing really quickly. Um, I love my outfit. Well, I don't love my outfit today. I like my outfit today. Like if I wasn't the size that I am, but it is what it is. But I have like this teacher t-shirt that says teacher in progress, please wait. And the loading sign is apples. And then I just have this high-waisted longer oh skirt on um i just feel very teachery whenever i wear this outfit and i can actually wear it in fifth grade because in my current grade if i wear a dress i mean i have shorts on under it my kids are always trying to go under my dress for some reason um but yeah i'm gonna go to the bathroom do the landing really quickly get that carpet cleaned as i'm coming down vacuum the stairs then that chore is done and then I think well, I hope I will have gotten to all my chores. I'm gonna swap some laundry, fold the laundry. I do need to tidy up down here because they made a little bit of a mess. And then, um, yeah, today I need a carpet clean landing, and then my chore was just a quick clean today. So, um, all my ooh, that pin doesn't work. All my chores will be done. I do want to do the grocery order. I don't know what TT is. Oh. Aubrey's working tonight. Um, worked a little bit on the budget last night, that's done. The only thing I haven't been able to do is when we were pulling all of our information for social security cards, our passports, we noticed Casey's name on his birth certificate is spelled different from his name on his social security card, so we gotta get that fixed. But yesterday when I called, it was like, it said it was a two minute wait, but it was like 30 minutes and no one had answered the phone, so I got off the phone. So I'm gonna turn the Red Sox on, they're losing, they're playing Tampa Bay, so they're gonna lose anyways. Tampa Bay, not Tampa Rays. Um, and just get it done today. And then I'm gonna edit this video and get it in my lineup to post. I have a ton of other videos that I need to post as well. Um, but if I could maybe edit a couple videos today, that would be great. I do have some client work that I can do, but I'm gonna push that off. I do have to do my major classroom management assignment that's due tomorrow. I do want to um, email my student teaching teacher what she needs to do for me by next week. Um, so I have quite a few things that I could, that I'm gonna get done today. Uh, so it'll probably be a lot of B-roll on this, but that's my life. My life is kind of crazy. It's kind of insane, but my hope is that it'll all be worth it in a little while when I'm teaching, so I'm not going to school and you know doing all these things um so that's one thing on my plate i will still continue to be a travel agent because i love it um especially now my travel agency business is changing and growing and i have a lot more fun like different things that i've never done and it's like putting the spark back into my love of um 
travel and being a travel agent. And I think with us cruising, it's gonna be fun too because it's like different things of that. So let me get this done really quickly before the kids get home and then just get going on my day. long pour margarita at uh, Longhorn last night. Um, yesterday was Jeff and I's 16th wedding anniversary. Um, so we, Ellie had a volleyball game. We went to dinner after because anniversaries really aren't, I don't really care for them, but not really. <laughs> Just another day. Um, I, it's been a rough week. We are 19 and a half days left of school, and we had three new students show up this week. Um, in the class that I'm in, you can kind of have a rotating board because basically kids qualify once they turn three. Um, but we don't normally have them at the end of the year like this, so all year long, we really didn't have many new kids. And then around our February break, we got three new ones. So when you're in education, you call it rituals and routines. You're just getting them used to your expectations, your rules, the lay of the land. So we literally had just gotten kind of all that squashed <coughs> from February. And then all of a sudden this week, we get three new kids. They are three kids that are going to kindergarten next year. So we will literally have these kids for four to five weeks. So it's been a little stressful. 
to say the least. Um, we're talking like, I feel like it's first week of school tired. Like just straight up exhaustion. Um, stop it. I've also been bringing stuff home from my classroom all week because my principal let me know that um, he wants me more mainstream to just get the most um, experience possible. Um, he's really trying to help me. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but I do think I stand a chance of, of getting hired as a teacher with my current school. Um, and I mean, he has not hired people that have worked for him before, but I do think that um, he knows my capabilities and he's making sure that I am like where I need to be. Um, so moving all that crap out of my classroom because I do have a lot of stuff in my current classroom. Um, what else have we been doing? And it, it just was a rough week. So the, the house got away from me. So I have to clean the house. Um, I have a nail appointment today. I have to drop Ellie off at a birthday party. It's a friend of hers birthday party's sister, like the baby's turning one. And so she asked if Ellie could go. And I said yes before I realized Jeff was working. Jeff never works on the weekends. But so she's going to that. So I'm going to drop her off before my nail appointment. But we have to leave and go get her present before... And she's a baby, so I don't even know what babies want. Or, babies don't want anything. I don't even know what to get her, but... Um, so yeah, long, super long-winded, not necessary intro, but... Oh, that definitely needed this. Um, this morning, I would like to get the entire downstairs cleaned organized, vacuumed, everything put away, um, everything put back together. Uh, I won't have time to sweep them up. I can do that tomorrow. But get everything put away and organized. Um, and then possibly go up and get um, my room organized and things like that. We need to leave here by about 10, probably 10.30 run to Walmart, get her friend's sister a gift, drop Ellie off, go to my nail appointment. I'm also gonna go to Target and get bins for all of my stuff. My teacher stuff, I would like to organize it into math, ELA, um, I don't really have much science and social studies, decor. Um, I'm gonna get a bunch of clear bins so that I can hopefully stack them up in here because I do have space in here to get it all out of my closet and then I'll have my smaller like books and stem bins in my closet because I think that'll work. Um, and come back, start working on the organization and upstairs and all that. Um, I gotta sweep them up. Like, there's a ton of stuff to do. I'm not even making a to-do list because there's just too much right now. But if I can get this downstairs cleaned and get my room cleaned, then I can work on a list of all the things I want to do. Um, it just sucks that I have a nail appointment right in between. But, like, my nails are super overgrown, so I need to get them done. Um, and I also need to study for my case. So in order to be a teacher in Georgia, you have to go to school or have a bachelor's degree and go to, uh, Georgia TAP, but I'm going the traditional route. Um, so I have one year left of classes, fall and spring semester of like this following school year. Um, and then I will student teach the next fall. I've already done 96 hours of field experience. I have another 48 hours in the fall, but I have to take this GACE test before I can student teach. Um, they're doing this because most people aren't finishing teacher ed. They're not um, being teachers. So they're actually, um, a lot of people are getting hired before they complete their full um, student teaching experience. Um, people are not even student teaching. They're basically doing um, like an internship where they have a mentor and they're just kind of heavily watched for a little bit. Um, so my school has started to be proactive and just trying to make sure that people have everything they need to do so that if they get hired, they could. I'm probably a candidate for that since I have been in a classroom for like five years now. I don't want to go that route. 
I do really want the student teaching experience because each field experience I've done so far I've learned so much from and I'm a good um I feel like I'm a good educator I feel like I, I know a good portion of what I'm doing um but there's still just there's a value in student teaching I feel at least so um let me stop talking and just see how much stuff I can get done. It's 7.47. I would love if I was done cleaning down here by 9 o'clock. So let's see what I can do. a month or once every six weeks I will do what I'm doing in this video and basically I go through my pantry and under my kitchen sink under my bathroom sinks and I don't really carry a huge surplus anymore but I go through and I make sure that I have you know whatever containers we have filled whether it be like I have like a wood spray a water bottle and then a counter clean on my counters I have um, dish soap and Dawn power wash and hand soap and then in my pantry, I have all of the like plastic goods, paper plates, plastic forks, knives, spoons, all that stuff. We buy solo cups for the kids that like are in the neighborhood that come by. Um, so I sit down and I go through everything and I restock everything. And then I go ahead and make a list of all the things that I need to purchase. During this time, I also go through my pantry and my refrigerator and I check it. It's also unrealistic for me, at least, to think that I can clean every orifice of the house like this on a daily weekly basis that's just not one I think that would be a waste of my time um yeah that's great to have a house that clean but I just I don't value my time in that way I kind of have to move and shake and some weeks I have like a light cleaning week some weeks I have kind of a light cleaning week but I focus heavily on my floors and I carpet clean or I mop and sweep and then some weeks you know I'm kind of going through my pantries and my cabinets and things like that like I'm doing in this video and I also feel like you know the end of the year as someone who works in education, I guess, or I don't even know what it is, or just having four kids, like we just get a lot of crap. So my students normally give me stuff for teacher appreciation week in May. I get stuff from my students for my birthday in May, end of the year gifts in May. On top of that, my anniversary is in April. My birthday is in the end of May. Mother's Day is in the middle of May. So I feel like end of April, early May, all actually all of May, it's just a lot of extra stuff in here. And I'm not a stuff person. And while I appreciate all these things that people give me, sometimes it just kind of overwhelms me because I just don't know where to put it. I'm a super organized person and I have stuff put away where it should. But if I have something that kind of doesn't fit my mold of where I think it should be or go, I kind of get, you know, discombobulated almost and like, need to find a way or a place to put it. Um, but that's just kind of my own issues that, you know, I need to work through. But I just really hustled this day and really focused a lot in the kitchen and then just putting stuff away. As you can see on the crate, that's kind of like our landing ground for everything. I would like eventually to have some sort of like decorative crate like wood table type thing where the dog's crate is in there. We can take it out, but also like maybe use it as kind of like a bar area or whatever in the kitchen. Cause I've really enjoyed not having a table in here. I think it makes the kitchen so much wider. We debated putting an Island in, but again, I just love the open feel of downstairs. Um, maybe eventually if we got like a sectional and that kind of closed off the living room, I would want more of a closed off space. But right now it's just so open in there. I love it. I feel like our living room looks kind of cluttered at times just because we have all of the furniture in there. So for me, for now at least, I just really like the open concept of it. 
but it is kind of a pain because you do see everything out in the open all the time that you're having to work on and clean and you know make sure everything is put away expiration dates and I just get rid of anything that needs to be getting rid of because we sometimes have a tendency to just overlook things and for me it's easier to just go through stuff and make sure that I get everything you know gone through at least like once every month to every six weeks uh, and then normally that's a good time for me to clean the cabinets and clean the countertops and clean the refrigerator and all that stuff out. Hating on me, hating on me, you've been hating on me, I know, oh I know, I know, yeah. you've been hating on me, I know, you've been lying, lying on me. I did some stuff off camera, like I Windexed this because it doesn't really get dirty and cleaned it all up. Watered my plants. Um, I was recording in here and I was so mad that it didn't film. I must have not hit record. Um, but I had a ton of school stuff here and like the cat had ripped up a ton of them. Um, but got that all cleaned up, my desk all organized. But like, things to add to my to-do list. I need to like plan for the day. That is all of my teacher stuff that I have, like I recorded a video of, so I know it's there. Filing and stuff I need to do. But this room is clean. I have my diffuser going. Um, cleaned up in here, cleaned the coffee pot area. Uh, I could place the batteries in that, but I think they're okay for right now. I do wanna put my little coffee bar sign. I want a pin up there. Um, but this room's, and then like I need to wash, washing the walls is something I'm gonna do tomorrow. So there's like there, there, there's quite a few spots. Um, this is everything that's teacher stuff. So I'm gonna leave it down here because there's no point in bringing it upstairs to bring it back downstairs. That's kind of stupid. This is all cleaned up. I will cut a watermelon. I pulled my banana, my coffee, my water. This was my target list I started. And then my best friend sent me a pan for my birthday. And that is the pan that we got around Christmas time. It's from Pioneer Woman and this is the bigger one. These pans are like the cheapest pans. Like that one was 20, I wanna say that one was 35 and they are insane. Like they are so good. They clean well, they cook well. I'll show you guys in a minute. But that's all cleaned up. Cleaned up all the mess here. The Roomba's going as you can tell. I cleaned up in here. The cats, one of the cats got sick. So I had to carpet clean a few spots. All the shoes that need to go upstairs are here. Dirty clothes, this rug. Needs to be washed. That's Casey's backpack and laptop for school. And then this is just like graduation stuff that needs to go upstairs too. Um, the Oculus is charging and then we have this pet spray here that Jeff keeps there. But it's done and it's 8.55. So I'm going to open my pan, have some breakfast, sit down until about 9.30. And then I'll go upstairs and see if I can clean my room, um, get Ellie up and get ready. Just got back from Target and I bought this bin that I saw on TikTok where you 
buy this bin and this lid from Bright Room, and then it's perfect for trash bags. And like, I can put another two or three of them in there. So that's good. The cat knocked over this plant trying to get to the birds. So there's dirt all in my sink and I gotta load the dishwasher. I did get all the things I wanted, the paper plates and all that crap. And then I also got my three bins. So as soon as I take Aubrey to work, I'll work on this. I am home. I got my nails done. Um, did laundry, as you can see right there. Casey and I went to Chipotle. Alexa pause. Because um, I promised him that. And I've pulled out some of my teaching stuff. <laughs> So, looks kind of a mess, but I have like STEM, books, math, no, math, ELA, classroom stuff, behavior management, decor. Um, <coughs> here I have like colored pencils are here. Crayons are here, crowns are here, dry erase boards are there. Kind of want to leave all that stuff in there because it's just put away and then I don't have to deal with it. And then a base 10 starter set, an ABC book, and a game. I do not remember what that is and these are of course bins and a sensory bin. <sighs> and then I have all this stuff. And I have this box that has stuff. So like the problem is it's not a problem. It's, it's a good problem to have. Georgia gave para, teachers, parents, a ton of people, a ton of money this year from Class Wallet, and maybe even last year. So I got a ton of stuff that way. And I bought it for my teacher classroom. Um, I work in a school. Teachers are quitting left, not left and right, but teachers are retiring. Teachers are quitting, leaving the, the profession. They're getting rid of their stuff, like, in droves. So I can't not take it. So a friend of mine is graduating um, in a few days actually. So I'm gonna go through the stuff to organize it. If there's anything that like I don't think that I'll want, I'm gonna go ahead and like make a bath, like a teacher basket for her. Like I found these things that are like glow stuff from like a teacher that had like a glow day. And then she's got like the finger lights for it. Like I should totally keep this stuff and have a glow day, but there's also like, I'm not a hoarder by any means, but teachers are hoarders, I feel like.